Hello and welcome to the video by Trompixel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use Goal Seek in Excel. In this example I have to calculate the monthly payment when I have the loan amount, I have the interest rate and the number of monthly payments. When I have this data I can calculate the monthly payment by using the PMT function. So I would have to use the rate, monthly rate. So I would convert it into monthly rate by dividing this by 12 because this is annual rate. The number of periods is 60 and the present value of the loan amount is $100,000. And now when I press control enter, this gives me 1933.28. Since this is an outflow, this is in red and in round brackets. Now, the goal here is to have a monthly payment of $1,000 and I want to achieve that by adjusting the loan amount. To do this, one way is to keep on changing the loan amount and have a hit and trial method where I would change this to say $70,000 and the monthly payment would keep on reducing and then I can keep on doing this again and again. But this would be time consuming and it may take me a lot of time to get to the exact amount of $1,000 because the loan amount could be in decimals as well. So I would instead use the goal seek. Let me change this back to $100,000. Now I would use goal seek to get a monthly payment of $1,000, an outflow of $1,000. To do that I would go to data. Here I would go to what if analysis and I have the goal seek option. In the goal seek dialog box I would set the cell which would be B4 because this is the cell where I have my goal and I would set this to a value of minus 1000. Since this is an outflow I have used minus 1000 and I want this by changing the cell which is B1. So I want to change the loan amount in such a way that my monthly payment comes out to be $1000 and now I would click OK. And you can see that Excel has calculated, it calculates it step by step in incremental steps and it has given me this value of 51,726 which is the loan amount that I would need to take to have my monthly payment at $1,000 per month. And here if you want to accept the solution you can click OK and if you do not want to accept the solution you can simply click cancel and if you click cancel the values would, would revert back to the original values. So this is how you can use goal seek. Now it is not always possible that you would find a solution. If that is the case goal seek would inform you that it has not found a solution. In this case it has. So it says that the target value was this and the current value is again minus uh, 1000 thousand dollars. So as soon as I click OK, these values are fixed. Now you can see that the loan amount value is 551,725.56 and there are a lot, lot of decimals here. So Goal Seek has done all this calculation. If I had done this using hit and trial, I would have never been able to come to this exact value. So this is how you can use Goal Seek in Excel. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you and have a nice day.